Okay, you have level is 31 students. Start with whoever the rest will join. Okay, you can you can start. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Um, today we are here to to take you through inquiries concerning um, finance, AR, Dean of Students. So basically today you are the ones who are going to ask the questions and we shall answer. So ensure that whatever questions you have about timetables, um, generating exam permits, <clears throat> excuse me, generating exam permits, registration for AR and then finance, how to pay, uh, you will have feedback. And if we fail to give you enough information, our offices are open. Uh, you can either come in and inquire or you give us a call. Um, I don't know, Norman, I will be sending the contacts on the chat for each of the officers that is going to speak today so that they are able to talk to them. <clears throat> so unless there is any further, I will, I will be speaking more as we get questions from, from the students. Otherwise, everybody's welcome. That is it, Norman. Okay, thank you, dear, for that brief introduction. Now, I just wanted to communicate to the attendees that uh, the rules are very simple and uh, clear, that if you have any question to raise, you just put your hand up and then you'll be allowed to, to speak. So it is clear that way. And without wasting time, we're going to start with uh, Aaron. No man, I yeah. don't see any finance. I don't see any finance person. No, I'm trying to see the those who are online. Mr. Dennis Kakuba is around. Kakuba is around. Okay. Jack, you don't see me. Oh, I've seen you. I've seen you. <laughs> and then Sarah. Where is Sarah? Sarah, Sarah has come. He's coming. So can we have Alan? No man, you, you didn't say a prayer before we start. <laughs> yes, yes, dear. Yeah, you didn't send a prayer. Oh, sorry. Let's have let's have Mr. Dennis pray for us. Let's have Mr. Dennis pray for us. I am sorry. Okay, we pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. And we ask that you bless this meeting and the participants and whatever we shall discuss, Lord, will be to the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So I think we proceed from where we had stopped. Alan, Alan, proceed with your question. <laughs> Sandra. Sandra, unmute yourself. We'll hear from you. Sandra. Okay, let's have Abigaba. Sandra, please. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sandra, 
Sandra, we can hear you. Uh, you say that today we are we are we are just in for questions. Uh, my question is when are we beginning serious lectures and when are the exams? I just had the, when are the exams? Would you kindly repeat your question, please? Uh, my question is, when are we beginning serious lectures and when are the exams? Okay. For us, the non -com, the, the continuing students. Continuing, continuing yeah. students. Yeah. Continuing students, your lectures started today online. Oh, yes. You should have started lectures today. I haven't seen any. Did you log in? The timetable. No, Everything. we talked to the deans mm -hmm. and the heads of departments that we are going to use the timetable that we were using when the semester was abruptly closed. Am I assuming they did not tell you? So ah. now we are going to use that same timetable because, for example, if you are having maybe human resource management at eight, so the lecture will be on, on online at 8 a.m. So what, should I say you have forgotten about your timetables and we need to remind the heads of departments to? to no, we have, haven't forgotten. Um, okay. I have been forgotten. Okay. Yeah, but for us, the people in Iruhara, I don't think we have much information about this. About the the online. The online is studying the new system, like. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for Haro, like, we have we have Aine Mark, Aine Mark, who is the lab technician in Iruhara and is in charge of Odell online learning at. The, Haro, at oh. Haro campus. Yes, look for Aine Mark. There is even a, a publicity that went out showing their contacts, their email addresses, their telephone contacts. So unless you did not see that. Okay. Call Aine Mark, talk to Aine Mark to guide you on uh, e-learning. That is for Haro. So okay. every faculty, every faculty who has assigned an ICT personnel to handle them or to take them through Odell. So maybe, okay. maybe, um, <clears throat> Nomad, I think we shall have to republicize the contacts of the ICT personnel for each faculty. Yes, yes. Yeah, you will have to push them again on their social media platforms. Okay. Because if a student is asking now that they, she's not aware who is in charge of online in Ohara. Now, for the exams, <coughs> exams, the AR will be coming out with an official communication by the end of this week. So we are in consultation. We are supposed to be consulting the deans and heads of departments. And we, he has a meeting, I think, at 11 or at midday, so that they are able to give him. Um, the, the, the actual time, but we we had proposed 9th December, and so if that date goes through, then exams will begin on 9th December, but I do not want to commit myself on that. So wait for the, an official communication from the academic registrar uh, specifying the date of the examination, but in the meantime, lectures have started today. Yeah. And I hope that is clear for everybody. Uh, how about, can I ask something else? Yes, yes, please. Uh, like uh, for us, like the third, second years, third years, um, okay, second years and third years. Okay. We have uh, begun our, our world rounds like okay. uh, what mm. for practicals. 
Mm. And it was on our, on our day three on ward when the pandemic was declared in, uh, in Uganda and we yeah. were told to stop. Are we yeah. going to be in for practicals or we are just going to do theory and we call it a semester? Now, I am going to kindly refer you to the head of department and the faculty dean, okay? Get the contacts of the head of department, Ms. Rachel, and let the head give you clarification on that. That is more of departmental activity and which the head and the dean should clarify. So I'm going to request you to kindly get their contacts and talk to them about that. But oh. lectures, lectures will be online. So in other words, I, I can see you have a smartphone, so ensure you have a smartphone if you can buy a laptop so that you, you're online because we are in the new norm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Norman? Yes, please. I think now we can have uh, the gala. All right. Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, yes we, we can. can hear you. Uh, I'm happy to be on this platform once again. And uh, thanks for the, for the effort you're putting across. Mm. Now, my question goes to finance. Uh, some of us, we didn't clear before the pandemic. So I don't know if uh, there were some changes mm -hmm. or if they are planning to put in some changes in terms of payments, maybe increment or deductions on our, on our tuition fee. Then another question goes to, uh, to the AL. We have our lectures in uh, different platforms of WhatsApp groups. But I haven't seen any lecturer posting something about the new lectures that are coming on, on board. So it could be my kind of request to the AL if they can resume as they used to be, tell us, guide us in a, in a different uh, manners that we have our lecture at this time, because most of our colleagues will never be online unless they are told to be. And uh, my, my third question goes to the entire team that is concerned. Any plans for those students who are far away, who are, who are not on, on, online? Like most of my colleagues are not aware that there is this Zoom meeting now. So which plans are you using other platforms to inform them? Which plans do you have for them? Thank you. Norman, allow me to respond. Norman? Norman? Uh, Norman? Dennis, Dennis. Norman yes. has just moved out. Go ahead and respond. Okay, let me respond to the yeah. I've got I've got on the issue you raised about tuition. Um, this is going to be a continuation of the semester. The financial position of stand is that when the semester ended. So if you had paid, say for example, you had paid uh, 500,000 out of 1 million, we still demand 500,000. Yes, they are mine. One is for my home, for my bag. So, uh, Jackie? Jackie? Yes, please. Hey, I was responding. I think there is an interruption on your end. I don't know whether the students got what I was trying to put forward. So, Abgaba, where are you? Uh, we expect you to pay the balance mm. uh, that was paid when the semester ended. Mm. And we are not demanding any new tuition or what, except that that we were demanding from you when the semester ended. Okay. So if you had a balanced career, please clear it up and your semester will be fully paid. 
if you had already paid, then you don't have any uh, payments made to us. That's the position. Okay. Thank you. But we also, maybe for emphasis, we also expect that uh, for you to be able to receive materials, to receive notes, to be in uh, online class, you also mm. need to make payments because we will be paying the facilitators that will be facilitating you. So we expect okay. a payment to come through from your side. Okay, sir. Okay. You're welcome. I had a question on, uh, sorry, I, I was a little bit interrupted. So I, I just need uh, a clarification once again on the question of lecturers not uploading material. What was that question? The same gentleman who asked about the, the finance, would you kind of repeat the same? Yeah, if I could repeat my question. Yeah. I was asking, uh, during the course of uh, lockdown, we had okay. some interaction with some lectures. Okay. Some of us would uh, engage us in Zoom meeting for classes aside, okay. but I no longer hear from them. Okay, which, so which program are you? Which program I'm, are you? Uh, human resource. Okay. Mm. And uh, I was saying, if uh, we have someone in charge of that, if he mm. can, or he or she can help us mm. to engage with our lectures, mm. to use our WhatsApp groups in case we have mm. a, a lecture in the morning, let him let us know in time because most of our students are, are not online every time. Okay. And that was my concern. Yeah. Um, now, uh, engaging you online will also depend on the timetable you'll be using. Okay, mm -hmm. because he mm -hmm. might book you, for example, for 9 a.m. and yet that particular program has another lecture. So that's mm -hmm. why we are saying the timetables which you are using must be followed. This we are going to communicate to the, to the lecturers, to, I mean, to the heads especially, because it is the heads who are responsible for, for the academic activities. So we shall res uh, communicate to the lecturer, to the heads, to ensure that the timetables are followed. Otherwise, you're going to clash on, 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 on the time. Someone might book you for a certain time and then another one books you for the same time. So that's why we must have a timetable. <clears throat> so we are going to engage the heads of departments to ensure that these timetables are now fully utilized once again as, as it was before. Now for the human resource uh, notes that are not on or uploaded yet, we are going to, I'm going to engage the, the, the lecturer in charge. But on top of that, like I said before, we have, we have assigned ICT or what we call Odell team to each faculty. For example, for human resources should be business. Uh, I think we have David and Job. So those are the people you can call to, to, mm -hmm. to clarify on why some of the materials are not yet uploaded. Or above mm -hmm. all, call your lecturers. Call mm -hmm. the lecturers because they are now aware that the semester has begun and mm -hmm. therefore they should upload materials for you, for the students. Mm -hmm. If they cannot use the VLE, let them use the chats that like you are saying, WhatsApp chats and so on. But it is the mm -hmm. system that we are encouraging lecturers to use. So as the ARA's office, we have noted that we shall engage the head and the dean mm. to ensure mm. that you have your reading materials on. Thank you. Uh, can I ask something? Uh, I think it could, it would be the last one. If you mm. Hello? Hello, madam. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, like me, I do. We, I'm on a weekend program. Mm. Are we going to be using the same time as regular students? If I could uh, get a clarification on that. Now, we talked about timetables. You would use the timetable that you were using before. As a weekend student, you had a timetable, right? 
Yeah, I heard. So that is the same timetable you, you are going to use to have your lectures. So okay. that's why I'm saying, I don't want to hear the, that a lecturer can book you for a certain time. No, it is going to be as per the timetable that we were using when the semester was abruptly mm -hmm. closed. Okay. Yeah. So you will okay. still have your lectures over the weekend. Okay. But uh, given, the, given that now it is online, the lecturer can call the students and engage them when they are not busy. For yeah. example, you might not be busy at work and, mm. and he you know, coordinates you and you're able to study even during the day. That is if it doesn't clash with any mm. other. But you're going to continue using the same time table. Okay. So weekend, weekend, regular, regular, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Can we have Patrick? Hello? Hello? People, uh, members, once, once you have been unmuted, you just have to speak. We are listening. You don't have to wait for our responses. So don't keep saying hello, hello. We are already listening. So you go on with your question. Uh, my question is about the financial and registration. You understand some of us, when the semester was still on, we had not yet registered, though we were in the time of late registration. So I would like to know whether that registration will be on again so that we can continue. And regarding finance, uh, you, un you understand also the effects of lockdown. I uh, would like for the pardon, would like you to hear us because at times we find that we don't, we can't raise the tuition, the remaining balance at the moment. So we would like you to help us so that we can register and still do our exams. Then we can pay later because things are not easy for us sincerely. Mm, then the other question, there are some of our students who are far away, like like in my own course, we have like students who are from abroad, and how would they attend online, how would they attend live classroom exams to do, to do their exams in class? Uh, this guy, those are my questions, and we hope for a response. Thank you. Uh, um, I want to respond to Patrick. Patrick, the deadline for late registration was on um, 23rd March. And uh, that's slightly before, uh, after the lockdown, when the lockdown uh, was announced. So if you had made a payment then, and you had not yet registered, uh, we will look at the dates when you paid and uh, when the lockdown was announced. So if you had paid but not yet registered, uh, still we will charge you for late registration. If you had not yet paid by that time, again, we will charge you for late registration. We charge late registration uh on the dates that we set and those dates are always communicated so for late registration for your second semester which is this one that we are in the deadline was on 23rd of march so by 23rd of march if you had not yet registered you don't have 50 percent uh stamp in your passbook uh, we will actually um charge you late registration but if you already have that stamp, then we will not charge you late registration. Then again, concerning the, the issue of whether we can pardon you to do exams with, um, uh, with, uh, with the university, uh, that is uh, still negotiable, but we encourage all the students at pay their fees 
zero balance before they can do our final examinations. I hope that response suffices. Thank you, Ben Patrick, for that question. Any other question? Uh, it has gone. Oh, we start asking questions. Eh? Yes. Mm. Okay. So you hold on from uh, ARS office on registration. Hello, I'm Prudent. I'm an assistant registrar. Um, the senior accountant has told us when late registration and, 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 and early registration began. However, I want to let you know that late registration began on 2nd March. And the person who is requesting for pardon would have loved to pardon you. But unfortunately, we had billed students late registration before they left, before COVID. So there is no way we can pardon you now when we had already begun the process of late registration. Thank you. Yeah, so in other words, before the, before the pardon shutdown uh, of the institutions, I mean, you are already within the late yeah. registration period. That is what it means. So in other words, you are supposed to pay. Mm -hmm. I hope that is clear. Yes. Just so your mic is on. Okay. Thank you, everyone. So, basically, my question is uh, from what I've heard that Dora and lectures are starting today. Uh, um, uh, I will begin on the VR is whenever I try to open it uh, under my MRC1 course unit. And whenever I try to open it, it's just the course unit, it's just there, nothing else. And then, second, I would like to know if everything will, if the academic year is going to change like next year in January, if we come back, are we going to be going into first semester or second semester? That's around the desk. Thank you. Okay, Norman, do we have Job online? Job and David. If we have any team from Odell. Yes, Job is any on. Any member from Odell. Job I want you to probably answer that question on why they are not viewing um, reading material on, on the VLE. What could be the problem? Uh, I didn't get the question. Just repeat. He's saying whenever he logs in, he does. He, he has only viewed only one course unit, and the rest mm. are out. He's, he's wondering what the problem is and how we should go about it. The course units are out. Yeah, he anyway. doesn't. View, he, has, he has only viewed one course unit. What, what's, now, what's wrong with that? What happens is, uh, on the side of the lecturer, you know when people post when lecturers put notes, when they have questions already there, they have to make them visible so that students can be able to, to, to see them. But if they hide them, then students cannot be able to see them. That is one option. Then the other one, it may be either that question is not there, has not yet been put there by the, or sent to us by the lecturer or the other option I had said, that lecturer has made it as he did from the students. So now we need to find out from the lecturer whether that question uh, is there and maybe clarify that. Okay, uh, the, uh, the question at falls under journalism is a bachelor, it's a bachelor's course and it's being 
maybe let, let me bear. maybe well, let me take it bear, okay. let me take it down let me take down the course in it and i'll check whether it is there or not yeah the question the question is called the future writing by ben bear and a bunch of future what future writing future writing okay mm. by which program which program it's a uh, bachelor's uh, journalism. journalism yeah journalism i must come okay yeah. let me just dot it note it down i'll check okay thank you mm. uh someone was asking whether when they come and and, and, and studying, they will be continuing with the uh, another academic year. Now, I'm proposing that uh, we we first handle. You know, we have not we have not closed the 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 2019-2020 academic year. So let's we shall have first. I mean, second semester finished. We shall finish the first uh, second semester, and when that semester is done. Uh, second, uh, another academic year will also depend on the government, mm -hmm. the, 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 on the announcement of, of the government. Remember, they were talking about releasing more students on, on, on board. So hopefully when you're done, when the second semester is done and the academic year, then we shall have uh, guidance from, from the government. However, with Bishop Stewart, we were allowed to go online. So I think when we are, when we are done with the second semester, then the, another academic year will progress. But however, I would wish the, the students to know that they will always get official communication from the Office of the Academic Registrar. So for now, let's look at how we end semester two of 2019-2020, and then we can think about 2020-2021. Thank you. No man. Yes, please. I am seeing my you DBA031. Please unmute yourself. Uh good morning, everyone. Me, my question is like. I would like to know what are the plans are you putting for those ones who are not having smartphones? Uh, and another question is like that of the other guy, I'm not got that name. Some cosmetics are not there. Like me of DPA, I only saw, I only enrolled in legal cosmetics only. I didn't see others. Uh, those are the only ones. <laughs> no man. No man, answer for me that question about uh, students who don't have smartphones, please. <laughs> smartphones. Even Dennis Finance, anybody from um, Bishops, I mean our management. You can ask answer that question. Yeah, because if we are saying this is a new norm, or new normal, and the investor is saying you must have a smartphone because we are going online, uh, I do not expect the university to buy the smartphone for you. So you must devise means and ways to ensure that you have a smartphone. The rain has... Hello. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, good morning uh, once again. This is the uh, River and Charles Public Relations Office. Yeah, as you could be aware, several times the Vice Chancellor has addressed the uh, students and staff 
and uh, in uh, different at different times we have requested staff and the students that the era into which we are the uniform for a university student is a smartphone and a computer so those who do not have any of those we really request that you see how you work it out together with your parent make sure you get either a smartphone or a computer because we are just beginning and we may continue that way and not only bishop state university but even other institutions in this country or even worldwide so friends we request that you see how you work it out it is like when you don't have tuition you are not allowed to enter to a university or sit for an examination so that's like that because if you don't uh, get a smartphone you are really going to be left out because the university is going to make sure the university the semester ends before the year ends so that the next year early january we begin another semester so if you don't have one of those then you'll be left out but we really encourage you to see how you uh, convince your parent to work it out together with him or her or your guardian and then you buy a smartphone thank you very much We have Dalton. Thank you very much. I am Dalton Ampumuza from Bachelors of Computer Science too. Uh, I just had uh, a few questions. One is, uh, when is zero rating beginning? Of course, uh, we saw the link that required us to register and uh, I was just inquiring when it is beginning. Of course, you said that you've already started online learning, but uh, we are still being charged data. And then uh, there is one group question that was not answered, uh, which was asked about international students who are already back to their home countries. And of course, they want to do exams with us and also do the online learning as well. And of course, you know, even when uh, there is a levy on data of Airtel, it shall also affect them. So which preparations you have to them? Then finally, I just wanted to, to make a plea that uh, if you could allow continuing students access university premises, maybe they would be able to pay in time. Maybe they would be able to, to, to question uh, when they fail, maybe uh, on using online things. Because I understand some of them are home and they cannot be able to have anyone to help them out, even when we could offer online services to help them, but they need to know that. I've also, again, typed my question in the chat box so that it is easy to, to recapture and retrieve every question and get answered. Thank you very much. Dalton, before you yes, go please. off, yes, now, please. Dalton, we cannot open for continuing students because the government of Uganda only allowed finalists. I hope you, you, you followed very well when the president was addressing the nation. They only allowed finalists for face-to-face. -face. And continuing students have not been allowed to come to institutions. So we, it is not Bishop Stewart to allow you. It is the President of the Republic of Uganda to announce it or to pronounce himself on the date when other students can officially report. But for us now, National Council for Higher Education authorized us to teach online. So that's why we are that's requesting students to embrace this new normal so that we can all you know continue with our studies i wanted to answer that before we forget okay. uh, the other <coughs> one uh, madam jackie uh, to that student you said you are who i am Dalton. now Dalton, for signing the registration of the renew uh the university is still working out uh, uh the procedures with the MTN and Airtel. In fact, if uh, a student is using Airtel, we had put out a form, a Google form for you to use well, with Airtel, so that we send the, the, the names and the telephone numbers to Airtel company so that they can put the university on their program. So we have actually put a deadline that could be failed. Uh, this is this Thursday. Make sure that every person who subscribes with Airtel 
must have reduced our diversity so that we can reach the name of the ASF on board. By first, so that we will send them to ASF in France. So we are going to put this information on our website. So if any student has not registered, please check on our website and uh, or even on your on your email or on your WhatsApp and register. Uh, fill that form so that we can. Uh, and we are still engaging MTN to make sure they also uh, uh, register us. And it will be confirmed as soon as it is registered. Thank you. We, we have Collins. Yes, thank you so much, our panelists tonight. Mm, my concern is on finances still. We may find we have some students like me, let me talk about me, who may manage to, uh, to raise like 80% of their tuition that we were supposed to pay. And all of the sudden, unfortunately, you fail to raise the 20%. How will you help me, or will you help me access the, the examinations so that I can pay in that time that I will be in the holiday? Thank you. Uh, Colin, thank you so much for your question. Um, what we are trying to do is that we are trying to ensure that the students and the university learning environment uh, remains the same. Uh, COVID has affected, yes, all of us, your parents uh, and everyone, but you also understand that COVID has also affected the lecturers who are actually teaching you. So the university students pay fees payment policy still remains the same. We haven't adjusted it. It still remains that before uh, you, know, you have paid 100% uh, of your fees. So as to whether you can do exams with 80% or not, that still remains a question of um, a negotiation with management. But as far as the policy is concerned, we expect you to pay 100%. Thank you. Daphne, please unmute yourself. Um, uh, I, uh, the, on the VLD, there is a provision of, of uh, question is that belongs to the court. But uh, I was inquiring how the question is that across topics are defined with the research method or, or, or organizational matters that do not belong to the court, but across topics. I'd like to know how they would handle the court that um, they are not in the court of life. It's open on court test like the court. Daphne, can you hear from me once again? Because it seems you are not clear. Okay, I can hear you now, uh, and I guess I am clear this time. 
Daphne, please. Yes, sir. Yes, I was inquiring. Yes. How yes. the cross cutting question is how the cross cutting question is to be handled. Because when I go on my VLD on the cross units that I'm provided for, they only belong to the court. And uh, in addition to that, like some of the prior, there are only some, actually like me, I'm accepting only so the others are not there, and the ones especially that are first cutting are not with anywhere. So I don't know what to do. Job, can you please answer that? Hello, Norman. Could you just, I, I think my speak has a problem, probably. Could you just read for me that question loud? I didn't get it clear. She's asking about uh, cross-cutting questions not appearing in the, in the system. Cross-cutting course course units. Yes. Yeah, course units. I need, uh, maybe if you can give me a, a course unit probably because there are those I've seen that are there. Yeah, I've seen like computer literacy, understanding the Bible. Yeah. I need to know which specific, I just give me the name, probably, Daphne, okay. so that I can see how I can help. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yes, just give I, me I a question. Uh, research method. I have, yeah, research. have research method. Mm. For which program? Because I've seen research method, there are different lecturers attached to different uh, programs that are teaching research methods, and some of those, uh, their work is there. So you need to. I am a student of okay. Hello? Yes. I am. I'm a student of uh, human rights. Mm. Yes, so like when you go on the on the site, you find questions that uh, belong only to my course. Mm. And the ones that are prospecting are not anywhere. Yeah, one, one thing about VLE is when you, when you're accessing VLE, when you're searching for these courses, you have to mark the course code, yeah? Because you will, you will find a research method yeah, that is being taught uh, in probably another lecturer is teaching it in computer science department, and then also another lecturer is teaching that particular course in another in another program. So you have to mark the course code and also know the program that you're doing. If you're searching probably like coaching like research methods, you have to know which program, uh, which course code uh, is it. Yeah, Daphne. So just because I'm trying here, I've, 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 I've done some search. I've seen that uh, research methods uh, questions, uh, it is there already, and I'm seeing uh, being taught by different uh, lecturers. So, if you have any issue, uh, maybe with that particular question, you cannot see the lecturer. Probably consult the lecturer and find out. Maybe you can get back to us and we clarify that. Yeah, please consult your lecturer. Yeah, if if there is a problem with your course you need. Yeah. Uh, um, let's have Dixon. Dixon, unmute yourself. <laughs> okay, let's have Peter. 
Uh, morning, everyone. Thank you for the presentation. I'm Ampire Peter from Raharo, and I'm a class president of BNS3. So in this program, I really like it, but us as class presidents, I think we have we are not yet, we have not been engaged because some of these students they call us looking for information. And sometimes we can't ask, we can't answer their questions because we lack information. So I'm kindly requesting that maybe the class president can also, you, you should always give information to this class president. In the case something is going on, you can give us information so, so that we can, we can answer the questions of our, our students. And also for us nurses, when we try to enroll our course units, they say we can't enroll ourselves. Yet classes have started today. So we really don't know what we are going to do. So maybe you can also engage our lecturers so that they can put the, the, the work, the study materials as soon as possible so that we can maybe get access to this work. Also, then the next question uh, is about uh, our, I think that this one has been answered. Those students who are far, well now I was talking with my friend, he was telling that he may not be able to access this, he may not be able to access study materials and he's likely to maybe ask for a day dear, so I don't know how, this student can be helped so that he can continue with his studies. Thank you so much. Uh, for the international students, you will, they will still study using online. What is important is that student registered in our system so that they can be able to access the, the reading materials. Now, as management, we are still studying on whether we shall be able to, to conduct online exams. However, what was uh, granted for Bishop Stewart is that exams granted by National Council for Education is that online we shall have face-to-face -face examinations. So management is still studying the possibility of having face-to-face -face examinations. And like I said, any official communication concerning your studies will always come in from the academic registrar. So now when that time comes, when for the period of examination, the AR will communicate and you'll be in position to know whether you do the exams online or face-to-face. -face. But I'm 88% um, sure that you're going to do examinations face-to-face -face or physically. You will have to come to Bishop Stewart to do those exams. That is it for now, but when the time comes for an official communication, you will definitely get it as the stakeholders. So encourage your friend who is that international student to register within the system and access materials via uh, VLE so that he or she is able to continue studying irrespective of being off campus. Thank you. Now, Norman. Yes, please. I'm seeing a lot of questions on the chat, question and answer. Yes. So I don't know whether we shall first handle the, 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 the students being asked directly or we answer concurrently. I don't know. 
I think we can have more more queries from uh, the students directly. Then after those two, we ha we handle those in uh, Chu and A and on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Mm. So Dixon, unmute yourself. We we'll hear from you. Yes, this is Dixon. I'm sorry for coming late, but so far I want to appreciate the job that is being done. But I want to request for a clarification about how our continuing student exams will be conduct conducted. Then there another thing is that I had that woman saying that he is she's eighty-eight percent knowing that exams shall be done face to face. But how 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 is she at the eight percent yet? Kaguta has not yet opened as continuing students to be at campus. I think that those are the few questions that I have. Dixon, Dixon, Wange. I I first of all want to to thank you for the questions. However, I also want mm -hmm. to inform you that you should learn how to address uh people you don't address people as that woman <laughs> okay or that but you that man so you address them as madam or mister also and so it sounds very rude okay yes so now secondly why i'm saying i'm 88 percent is that because national council for higher education which approved online learning for Bishop Stewart mm -hmm. approved that we should conduct examinations face to face for continuing students. Because mm -hmm. at the moment, uh, we may not have the capacity to, to run online examinations. So they approved that we shall uh, do face to face examinations. So that's what I'm saying, wait for an official communication from the academic registrar so that you're you're able. So you're speaking, or you have been speaking to the deputy academic registrar, Chom Hendo Jacqueline, so that maybe next time you can address me that way. Now, secondly, you talked about how you'll be able to continue accessing learning materials um, <clears throat> online and so on and so on. I want to, to encourage the students to engage your lecturers call your lecturers, call your heads of departments, call your faculty deans, and ask them how to go about with uh, studying. Because the heads of departments are your academic managers. Deans are your academic managers. And therefore, they know whatever activities are going on within the faculties. And on top of that, we have assigned, we have assigned ICT personnel to each faculty, to each faculty to ensure that students are taken through um, studying online. So that I, I once again request the Norman Public Relations to probably publicize the contacts of the ICT personnel that were assigned to, to different faculties so that the students can be able to get in touch. And then um, I want to emphasize that we are going to use the timetables that were uh, being used during the semester that was closed down. So if you engaged your heads of departments, they would be able to tell you. And on top of that, use your coordinators. Some of you are calling them class presidents. Yes, use those class presidents to get in touch with the uh, heads of departments and the lecturers to ensure that you have your reading materials or the timetables clarified. Thank you. Okay. Let's have Nyavule in Jamagrit. Thank you so much. For me, my question is about SFEB students. Students on SFEB, 
we had not registered our passbooks were not yet clear because they told us to wait and another thing is about ruharo i request you kindly please to consider us we are out of the program we don't know anything even our class presidents they don't know you call this one i don't know so we are really confused thank you Prudence, Prudence is online. You answer uh, the registration for his web students. Prudence or David? Prudence? You can hold on for Prudence to come and answer a question on his web. <laughs> Hello, uh, this is Judith. I'm requesting that a person who asked the question repeat it so that I don't know what I'm supposed to answer. I'm sure I had. Hello, Madam Prudence, we are not able to, we cannot hear you clearly. I'm requesting that a person who asked the question about the first book registration repeat it, I had stepped out. I was asking that I had of rate registration and people of SFEB were not yet registered. We left Tiroharo and went to main campus. They told us to wait to call a bit. So now I don't know for us, shall we, are we going to pay rate registration or? Madam, for your information, SFEB students are registered in the first week of reporting because we have a list of SFEB students and we, they are, Madam, I'm sorry, Madam Durant, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but these people cannot hear you can hear it. Yes. I'm saying mm -hmm. the academic register office has a list of history can be registered. This applies to further bus foundation sponsored students. It applies to state house sponsored students. So there is no way you're saying we should pay you to register you in the first week of testing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm saying these people that are sponsored are not exempted from late registration. Because for you, I, I am, Madam Prudence, I am, I'm suggesting that you reply to that question uh, using the chat because these people are not able to hear you. Exactly, we are not hearing. I am requesting that you reply to this question using uh, the chat. We, we are going to do as requested. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes no man. Uh, hello. Yes, Job. Yes, I wanted to respond to Margaret. Uh, she was saying that Ruhar was left out. I don't think so. Ruhar wasn't left out. It's just that uh, we have not been uh, in touch with some of those uh, class coordinators, but we have been in touch with the head of department of different departments. That's public health and nursing, which is who is Rachel, Madame Rachel, and also the dean. And we have been uh, uh, doing online sessions. Like last week, we had online sessions regarding to how people can access these different services like VLE training. So I'm suggesting uh, if the class coordinators of some of those uh, different classes uh, of programs get in touch with the head of department and the lecturers. Also, we have Simon, uh, who is best there, who is in touch with us. And also we had assigned uh, a different uh, technical people who will be helping you uh, in regards to, to any technical problem, any online challenge, that are there always to respond. And we have seen students from, from Moharo being helped. So I'm encouraging everyone, let, let us not lag behind and use that excuse that, you know, there are so many people who are, who are left out. You speak on your behalf, yes, and say, I failed to do this, but don't, because other students are already uh, on the system, are already learning. So better move be on the board because this is the way to go now so i'm encouraging okay. everyone just be on board yeah thank you members i think now we can consider questions in two and a but i would propose that um, um uh, the people who are on uh, our panelists today should uh, reply to these questions directly from uh, Chu and Etab. For now, I think, Madam Dia, I'm suggesting that we we proceed on receiving uh, questions from uh, from the public. Since these questions are already put to us as panelists this side, I think we can continue answering those. We, we can continue receiving other questions directly from students. My suggestion, dear. Yeah, if, if, if we don't have any more questions being asked, we can now go to the, to the two and eight. We can go to the Q and A. Are you going to lead us or we, are you going to lead us through the Q and A? No, I was suggesting that uh, as panelists this said, we yeah. respond to questions that are put to us this end. And then we receive more questions from public because I can see there are many hands raised. Hey. Yes. Okay. So I am suggesting yeah, that we, we, we respond to those questions directly from Chu and ATAB. Okay. I can see there are more questions that are going directly to finance. Mr. Dennis, you can respond to them. Madam dear, is that taken? We proceed on to receive no question. No man, can I have the sorry? Can I have the questions that you were mentioning to finance? They are okay. on Q and A. Uh, in Q and A. Yes. yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I can I can look at what what is for AR. Okay. I can see one from Kobsinja Sandra. Are we going to do exams after finalists are done with theirs? Yes, that is possible. But like I had said earlier, you will wait for an official communication from the academic registrar. It will come out very soon. 
talking to you about when you'll do the exams. Uh, Sandra uh, Afusa Hajat. Thanks so much. I, I myself paid the tuition, but I didn't take my passbook for signing. So am I also a bitch? No, you'll not, you'll not be charged for late registration because you have, you paid in time. So bring your, when you when you come to the university, you'll bring your passbook for endorsing. Mm -hmm. There's Lynette Twine, but how about lecturers that need our presence? What will be done? The Directorate of Quality Assurance is trying to study the possibility of having face-to-face -face, uh, lecturers for those who will totally, totally fail to, to, to go online due to probably network or lack of smartphones. And then also for practicals, there are some subjects which are which have practicals and, and therefore they will invite you. But I would want you to wait for an official communication from the Office of the Director of Quality Assurance, which will address that. Um, I think we answered Dalton. Dalton's questions were answered. Mm. There is a gentleman called Anthony Agaba yes. is asking about how he's going to get the the stamping of the passbooks and registering and so on. Yeah. Uh, Agaba, you need to go to your student photo on the system and then pay, pay your money and you will be able to register online and you will also be able to get um a student registration as well as your examination permit. They are all on your student portal. All you need is to pay. And once you have paid and your system is reading zero balance, you are able to generate all those uh, documents just on your student portal. What about the past books that were not signed? Uh, for those, I think that can be done even on the examination day. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. The big deal is, have you paid? Is the system reading zero balance? And can you be able to generate an examination permit? Isn't that the big deal, finance? Yes, that's the big deal. <laughs> OK. Then there is a student uh, who is asking a question that it's from Facebook, that this student finished, uh, I think, last year. And uh, I don't know whether he has a retake, but when he tries to log online, he's not allowed. And this student is still using the old system, uh, one job, he's still using Vastec. So the student needs to come to, to IT so that he's uh, put in the new system. Yes, yes, it, it will be sorted. Uh, there is a question on how shall we be able to send coursework?s Now, how you're going to send coursework?s is between you and your lecturer. Mm. Engage the lecturers, please. There is, I know, job you can tell them about uh, the VLE, which allows, I mean, which allows live interaction with the student. So you'll be able to send the coursework online to the lecturer job yes VLE has all those options depending on how the lecturer has had said the question you can even submit there and then and get marked and you get your result there and then yeah it caters for all that yeah yeah someone is asking when 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 will they do exams i think i i talked about this i said an official communication will come from the academic registrar on the date and and the month when you do examinations so be as patient as possible uh the academic registrar will communicate officially okay <clears throat> Mm 
when are the exams beginning? Same question, wait for an official communication from AR. Uh, there's another one. Some students were supposed to do internship after the end of semester. Now, when are we going to do? Yes, you still do your internship after the same after the semester examinations. So wait, finish the semester, and then you can think of internship. However, for now you can continue looking for an internship placement, which organization can take you on, so that after the examinations you're able to go for the internship. Where should we bank internship money? Finance, Dennis. Where to bank the money internship. for internship? Yes. Find the bank with the banks that are integrated with our system. And that is uh, DFCU, Abs Bank, and Post Bank. Okay. DFCU, Abs Bank, and DFCU. And Post Bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope the student has heard. BNS is failing to enroll. I think Job talked about that, that the students should be as, um, as, um, as awake as possible so that you can be able to, to know what is going on because some students are already uh, enrolled. So speak to Mark. Mark, Aine Mark is the ICT personnel for Dancing science, speak to him, he'll be able to guide you. Uh, someone is, and Peter Peter is saying, thank you BSU for restoring our hope for resuming our studies. You're welcome. And our God reigns. Um, techno, Techno, I don't know which name. How can I be able to make students' portal account functional? Uh, job because I registered manually and the way we used to do, but nothing. So job. Yes. How um, can this uh, account function? Students photo. One thing students should know now that uh, in this era that we are living, we are now operating mostly online. Yeah. And we are trying to reduce many lines, queues, in different offices, yeah, because of COVID. And now I think this is going to be the nature of work whereby a student, like on the student's portal, if you log in, a student should be able to access your financial statements. You'll be able to register yourself, which is a must. You have to enroll yourself. When I talk about enrollment, I mean, you're confirming that you're in the university and you have you have come to attend classes. So enrollment helps you to just to confirm that you're in the university. That is free. And then also you'll be able to access your results yeah, from the student's portal. So you don't need again to go back to ARA's office. I need my results. And the other thing you have to also to, to know which courses are you doing and be able to uh, generate an examination permit and currently in that we are going now to do exams, that's where you can be able to access it. Generate a reference number in case you want to make any payment that it is done from your student's portal site. Generate a registration card, it is done from, uh, uh, from the student's portal. And for you to access student's portal, you go to our main website, uh, BSU website, or you click, or you just type in your web browser students, dot bsu dot sc dot ug for first timers if it's your first time to to log into the students portal you use your username as your registration number with slashes whether lower or uppercase and same time to be your password and then you'll be able to enroll you follow the steps as the system guides yeah i think that's all okay um, why is it that we haven't had any online lectures? Now, BBA2, Kovsinja Sandra, 
the lectures should have started today. So probably you haven't had them because they were not yet officially started. So be, uh, beginning tomorrow, please engage your lecturers to ensure that you, you have your online lectures. Uh, from Facebook, Moses, I would like to know how the university is planning to handle practical sessions. Like I said earlier, the Office of the Director of Quality Assurance is working out uh, a plan on how practical sessions will be handled. And that was uh, allowed by the National Council for Education so that we can have practicals uh, face to face. So be patient, you always get official communication from the Office of the Director of Quality Assurance. You can still go ahead and uh, call the director and then they give you uh, on-spot information. <clears throat> I would like to know how we are going to pay remaining money and we are allowed to access the campus to pay. Now, Dennis? Dennis? How they are going to, yes, how they are going to pay the remaining money uh, is that we encourage you students to go on your student portal. And uh, once you've gone on your portal, you were, uh, once you've enrolled, the system is able to give you um, the invoice or the amount that you are supposed to pay. If you had already enrolled, uh, the system has your balance, your actual balance that you're supposed to pay uh, for this semester. Go to your portal, uh, see the balance that is there, and then generate a payment reference on the system, on your portal. Uh, it has an option where it asks you if you want to generate a payment reference, generate that payment reference and work with that reference to the bank. And the banks I mentioned are, you can go to DFCU, you can go to ABSA, you can go to Stanbic, you can go to Post Bank. And then you present the payment reference on the counter and the amount of money. When you're generating the payment reference, you put in, you put the amount that you actually want to pay, excluding the bank charges. And that's what you take to the bank. And once you have paid onto the bank, immediately the money will be reflected on your student portal. And if you are at zero balance, then on your student portal, you will be prompted or you can prompt yourself to register 100% and you will register and the system will clear you. Thank you. Okay, I'm still getting questions on how they're going to do practicals. I think this one is from Fine Arts. Uh, like I said, please wait for an official communication from the Office of the Director Quality Assurance uh, who will guide you on how we are going to do practicals. Um, Ankunda Masi, I was registered with the Office of VOE, but now I log in and it can't be opened. Job? Job? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Dan. Mm. Akunda could send us uh, her details probably on our email, and then we can clarify that if she is. Uh, we could help her. I'm going to send it via the chat and she can send us uh, details. That's her registration number, names and phone number. Okay. Yes. Uh, I can see Techno, Techno W2. You still have a question on uh, students portal. So like Job has said, please get in touch with the systems administrator so that they can help you if you don't understand what, what it takes to go or to enroll into the students portal. Okay, Ankunda Masi again, you're saying, are we going to follow our previous timetable for both? Yes, that was my first um, reply and, and in clarification that we are going to use the same timetables as we had been using before the semester was abruptly closed. So I engage you or I encourage you to talk to the heads of departments, talk to your coordinators, Class presidents to to engage the heads of departments so that you're able to access the timetables again. Okay, I think that's all for now from my side. 
no, there is someone, Ninsim, I think, that I have been using students portal before lockdown, but now it can't open and I would like to clear. How do I manage it? <laughs> Job, Job has sent um, uh, an email for inquiries. Systems at bsu.ac.ug. Send those questions there so that they can help you to 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 get uh, these queries answered. Norman, that is it for now from this side. Yes, can we have more questions from from uh, the public? Oh, we, Madame dear. Yes, please. Can we proceed and have more oh, questions? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Okay, let's hear from Technos Park Five. Yeah, you people, you need to to rename your devices so that we can we can address you clearly. Oh, Norman, yes. uh, there's something I observed this morning. You know, the students have, finalists have started exams. However, I have realized that some students are, because probably they are failing to log into the system. So they get people, the those who are working on secretary bureaus to log in for them, to print out the examination cards and so on and so on. So in other words, they are sharing their passwords with outsiders. And what does that mean? Job, tell them what that means. It means that you're exposing your privacy, you know? In other words, someone can easily even log in and see how you're performing, your marks and so on and so on. So Job, probably you could help the students Otherwise, they are giving all the discretion to the Secretariat Bureau people to, to, you know, to, to print out exams, to log in for them, to, in other words, they are not taking it upon themselves to learn how to get into the system. Mm, that is so I, don't know how, I don't know how risky that is, especially for them. At one time, we are going to find our marks in the public because someone has a password for a student, you know? And therefore, they can be able to access their their, their private information anytime. So I need. I think you need to guide these students about the vulnerability of their passwords. Like yes, thank you, Jackie. Like yeah, how you have said it. it this is a private account. That's why we call it students' portal account. It is where all this information your financials, your results, your registration, everything concerning your academic life, your, your entire life at the university, it's all in that student's portal, yeah. Now, if it lands in someone's hands, he can use it, we have, uh, he can use it as he wants, yeah. We have seen such issues where you find your information somewhere in the public and someone is using it to, to malice you. And this uh, idea of sharing passwords and your information, and most of you, what you do, you go to these public places, internet cafes, and you leave your account. You log in, you tell someone to log in, and you just leave it open. You don't even mind, so long as you have got what you want. You don't even mm. mind to log out. So this is a caution to all students. Please, this is a, your account. This is a private account. Actually, even as technical people, we don't know even what's happening. That's why when you when you when you log in the first time, you enroll yourself, and then the system will ask you to change your password. Yes, to change your password. It's like your email account. This is private information that is kept there. No one is supposed to access it apart from you. So any any information you if you share it to other people. Trust me, someone will use it and you'll be malice. So let's take care of our accounts, yes, until when you finish your university. So long and you keep it safe. Yes, so let's watch out on where we share this information to whom we share it to and keep our accounts very safe because this is private, like Jackie has said, it is private information. Yeah. That's what I can say.
That's my submission. Yes, Job, thank you. So I think now I think. Let's hear from Ezra Akankwasa. Uh, I have said and then myself in some questions, but then I think to know uh, it. Isla, I am sorry to interrupt, but we cannot hear you. You have some noise in the background. I'm saying that I'm saying Ezra, we cannot hear you. Please try to find a, um, a calm area so that we can hear from you. For now, let's switch to Atuhaile. Yes, thank you for everything. And my question goes, how shall we go through the thing of uh, school practice, especially to us second years? I think we are supposed to do school practice in the second semester of uh, year two. So that's my question. Now, all that will depend on when we, we have finished our examinations, when the examinations are done. The school practice coordinator will be able to give you a roadmap which we will follow to do the school practice. All that is in the program. However, we have not yet even finished the teaching. We have not even done the examinations. So let's do the teaching first, let's do the examinations and the school practice coordinator a roadmap with the school practice. Thank you. Okay, thank you too. No man. And we have Lona. Donald, unmute yourself. Donald. Okay, let's go to Shiba. Shiba, unmute yourself. Okay, Donald. <laughs> No, that we can hear you. Yeah, this is an answer. Uh, question. Personally, I have to. Yeah, I Yes, Ronald. Hello? Yes, please. Yeah, um, I'm saying my question is, um, me personally, I have 12 course units, but then I'm enrolled in only two course units. When I try to enroll in other, sub, in other course units, they tell me I can't enroll myself. So what shall I do? That is what I wanted to ask. I think Job can answer that. Job? Yes, Dab. I've had the question, but there's no way where it says you, you cannot enroll in that. 
maybe they can ask you uh, either enrollment key or probably that you cannot see the course in it. So what you can do, the quickest way is to please consult your head of department or your lecturer and find out if that course is already there in the system. And even uh, even okay, having uh, even have even the lecturers having the authorization to allow you into that course course series. Exactly. So sometimes mm. they might they might have blocked or they might not have given them access. So yeah, and they're using the manual students, method. Uh, so the students also need to engage the lecturers and tell them that probably you have blocked me or you need to allow me into, you know, accessing the course. Very true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, can we have Shiba as we are winding up? Yeah, thank you. Uh, my concern is about uh, paying tuition. As in, I want to know, are we supposed to go at campus or like, there is any any other way we can pay the remaining amount thank you dennis are you still there yes i'm still there what is the question <laughs> she's wondering whether she should come to come to campus to pay the remaining amount i think you have talked you can still repeat yourself on that no, you don't need to come to campus. Just go to your student portal, uh, login, generate a reference from your student portal, and walk to the bank. And the banks are DFCU, Sandvik, Absa, and Post Bank. And once you have paid, money will come on your uh, student portal, and you can register and do anything that you want uh on your student photo thank you okay thank you okay i think madam dear it is it is time for us to to end yeah. this is okay. already just two minutes to so we can have your final remarks <clears throat> okay i would like to say thank you to the students that have endeavored to be part of this virtual, I'm going to call it a conversation. We have had a, a good conversation with you. We have been able to get your feel as far as online is concerned. And we are still going to be open to your questions uh through systems administrator at uh, no it is systems at bsu.sc.ug no man you will also give them your official email at academic registrar you can get in your queries ar at bsu.sc.ug you can also uh deputy ar at bsu dot sc dot ug finance you can also give them the finance contact uh, so that we are able to have these students successfully uh, complete their semester uh, irrespective or amid this covid we shall be able to finish our our semester and therefore like uh, i think job mentioned that we are in the new normal in other words, students must embrace. The word is must. If you don't, you're going to be left behind. So where you have any queries, please do not hesitate to contact the officers of the university and they will be able to help you. On behalf of the academic registrar, I wish to say thank you once again. And please continue uh, asking questions. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, no man you can speak better than me on that. So that uh, we are able to give you feedback and then we are able to have you graduate through Bishop Stewart. I thank you. Okay, thank you, dear, for that communication.
Now, I would like to share with you our Facebook pages, the URLs to, to those pages. On Facebook, we are at facebook.com slash BSU Uganda. I am writing them in the chat. Then for Twitter, it is uh, twitter.com slash Bishop Stewart University, B Bishop Stewart Uni. Then uh, Instagram, it is uh, the same handle, uh, instagram.com slash Bishop Stewart Uni. Then LinkedIn, it is Bishop Stewart University. Then uh, YouTube, it is, a, it is Bishop Stewart University. I think that's it of that's it for now unless uh, i don't know if uh, dennis has something to communicate or we can end it from there so we can uh, end it from there we encourage the students to actually prioritize payments um, because even when we are asking the staff to put data to be online we actually have to remunerate them so we encourage all the students to make a commitment to paying their remaining balances. And Madam, Madam Diara, we had a uh, uh, Dean of Students. He also attended. I think we can also have uh, his uh, final remarks. Yes, good afternoon, everyone, as we conclude. Uh, mainly, I want to apologize to the continuing students that we have not invited you, and it is not us that have not invited you, but it is the president of the Republic of Uganda. And I believe soon or later, he will say that you also come. But as of now, I know many demands from students that say you would want to, would love to come to the university, it is true. But definitely, definitely we are being guided by the rules and laws of COVID-19. And the same applies to hostels. Continuing students are not allowed to be in hostels as of now. Because you never know what might happen to any of us. But then we shall keep in touch online as everyone is doing elsewhere. And we pray that any time we shall be able to come. Otherwise, we don't have much to say. But that is it. Because if we would allow you in hostels, then you would have challenges of sickness and then we would not allow you at the clinic like that. But otherwise, I would wish to say that we'll be patient for a while. I know anytime we are likely to be in by God's grace. God be with you. I'm done. Thank you so much for attending. And uh, I think this is the right time for us to end. Uh, no man. Norman, did you, do you have any communication? No man. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, no man. Uh, no man. I thank all of you that have been able to attend uh, this uh, interaction. I only would like to encourage you, as publications office, that we are still open to those that would want to study, because we know you have friends, you have sisters, brothers there. Tell them, encourage them to still apply because uh, we can apply online. You can have hard copies from the university or from different spots in the colonies and dioceses in this country, especially in the western uh, part of, the, of Uganda. Take application forms, but mostly I put that way, if you apply the line, it would work for you. Uh, uh, Secondly, uh, follow us on uh, social media. Uh, Ages, whatever we do, whatever goes on at the university, we put it on our social media. So please don't hesitate to check always on the social media uh, platform. You'll get uh, more information. As far as zero rating is concerned, we are still pushing with MPN. We are yet actually in a few minutes ago, we have been talking to the MPN people. They called us and have just requested us to send them our. Uh, 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 where, we, where they can send us the, the, the programs so that they engage us and they put us on uh, the program. And also, 
I remind those who have I, uh, airtel to register because, as I already said, we have sent you a Google form for you to fill so that you can also register your, your airtel and then you are set to, to study and do all other things. Otherwise, thank you very much. May God bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm.